Don't turn this off. I want you to listen to what I'm about to ask you. Very important favor from me via our site and our clientele list for uh, the people of Ontario. I am asking you, our clients, or anybody watching these videos to join us in a letter writing, email writing campaign. Now, Kelly is going to give you, I believe, four email addresses. These are very, very important email addresses. I don't... What we're trying to accomplish is to put pressure on either the municipal health unit or the provincial government to uh, have a second look. We're not, we're not demanding you do anything, but have a second look at uh, the pros and cons of shutting down racing in Ontario, right? Uh, I think Ontario is such a big place and this emergency break that they, that they keep touting um, has a pretty wide berth to it. And I think at some point they're going to have to start looking at things case by case. Uh, I understand that if they said horse racing can stay open, the gyms and the restaurants and everybody else would be complaining that they weren't and we were. So I get it. It's easier just to say everything's closed, except they forgot to leave the Toronto Maple Leafs off that list. That's an argument or, or a conversation for another day. What I am asking you, pleading with you to do, is join us in an email writing campaign to the four emails that will be provided to you. All we want to do is, in an extremely respectful and professional way, explain that uh, since horse racing started back up during the pandemic, it has been extremely safe, there has been no outbreaks, and the singular cases that we've seen, both here and on the other side of the border, have resulted in no uh, secondary infections. So what we're trying to show the government is that we are safe. We Not that we hope we're safe, not that we think we're safe or we're sure we're safe. We know for sure we are safe. We have the numbers to back it up. Just have a second look at horse racing and understand what kind of an effect it has. For me, for you, all of our partners that are watching this, horses will leave Ontario and potentially not come back. That is extremely detrimental to a sector in agriculture an entire sector that feeds agriculture. If Blake McIntosh, Anthony McDonald, and Carmen Osiello move upwards of 70 horses out of Ontario, as I said in my opening video, that's 70 less horses to shoot, 70 less horses to feed, 70 less horses that will need bedding provided by agriculture in this province, 70 less horses to race and fill cards if Mohawk tries to open up, and 70 less horses owned by owners that are less likely to own horses in Ontario because of what took place. So the ramifications of simply shutting down an entire vital sector of agriculture uh, the waves that will be felt because of this uh, the ripple effect of shutting this down is it could be catastrophic for this industry. So I, I implore you, I ask you to take a few minutes just to write down what horse racing means to you and ask the Premier, ask the health officials, ask the representative of Herm Gill in Milton, the health, health minister, Christine Elliott, please have a second look at horse racing. Because without horse racing, right now in Ontario, um, a vital sector of agriculture could be gone. Now, I'm not here telling you that horse racing is going to be over, it's going to end. But it's going to make it very difficult to continue at full strength when this 30 days is up. This 30 days is much, much more than 30 days. And I hope the government will have a look at the safety record that has been shown to be 100% perfect in horse racing. In the sense that we have had, uh, we have had positives both here, Ohio, New York, Pennsylvania. They haven't ended up in outbreaks. And that speaks very specifically to the safety protocols put in place by Woodbine and other jurisdictions. And again, please have a look at what you've done and what you could do. By allowing horse racing to race, you're going to keep people employed. And from our standpoint, I just told you 20 horses could leave Ontario. That's four caretakers. So um, take a minute, craft an email. As I said, there's no need to be angry. We're just trying to simply draw attention to what is going on here in Ontario. And again, asking these people, please have a second look. Thank you very much for your time. As I always say, we have the best clients on earth. And it's not very often I ask you for, for a lot. And this is one time I will. 
just take a couple of minutes to send an email to the four people on our list today. Thank you very, very much. Take care.